what's up guys welcome back for another Yu-Gi-Oh! pro duel video next match cross ban list cap it has been like over a week but you know with the new yeah the new cards released last week a lot of new cards uh, have been revealed and of course the tcg ban list there are so much things to cover but let's pick this one up again first of all we have or at least we are on the left side of the bracket the losers bracket so both these decks already have lost a match if one of these decks loses this one then they are out of the tournament chaos yata is going to take uh, on the brilliant my Dolce Fusion deck. Uh, so which deck has the advantage? Um, I don't really know. Chaos Yata definitely a strong deck with all those banned cards. The panelist thought deck, right? But then again, Brilliant Madolche can shine with, you know, Naturia Beast, for example. And uh, those powerful plays coming off of the one card Brilliant Fusion. So let's not waste any more time. Let's hop in into the first duel. Okay, game number one, and I think I got to start. This is a good hand. Immediately opening up with Graceful Charity. It can somewhat make the Black Lost a soldier life, and already have Mirage of Nightmare and the Mystical Space Typhoon. What do you need more, right? So three, uh, three draws indeed, and already having the Forceful Sentry and Delinquent Duo and the Ring. Very important here, the Ring of Destruction, um, since that somewhat convinces me to use Mirror Force on both these monsters to, you know, prevent myself from getting battle damage, of course, but... I know he will get a couple of, at least one surge out of my Dolce tickets and he will get his monster back thanks to his field spell. But you know, thanks to Forceful Sentry I can get free information about his hand, send something back from his hand to the deck, potentially like a damage juggler, right? Since I had in the back of my mind, maybe I can OTK or, you know, deal a lot of damage and, you know, <laughs> end the game with Pre-Erata Ring of Destruction that can be activated during your opponent's turn, even if your opponent has lower life points. Uh, there is a ring and Kaiku or Kaisu or Kiko, <laughs> however you want to pronounce it, does uh, come in uh, very handy here. Since you know your opponent cannot banish monsters from his or her grave. Again, very, very important. Game number two. So Chaos leading 1 to 0. He gets to start and he opens up double brilliant, brilliant fusion. Must be nice. And both of them are actually live since the deck does run double Garnet. And uh, that's a very good opening move again. The one of brilliant fusion paired up with like doubles at least the two summons right he can go for melee so again bulb into naturia beast very good this naturia beast is of course very clutch against uh, you know against the scales deck no graceful charity no pot of greed no rakeki no dark hole no mass destruction cards but uh, shining angel definitely is an answer to the naturia beast maybe i should have just um took the risk or should i yeah taking the risk here setting the mirror force as well and maybe the monster reborn as well and then hope my opponent misses the mirror force with his potential um tiramisu play but yeah i mean i think i had in the back of my mind maybe i top deck something like pot of greed or graceful charity or rageki or dark hole get lucky and then use the port wipe to you know clean the board and yata lock him somewhat uh maybe have like a monster reborn follow up but you know his card advantage it's it's just through the roof and now yeah it's just a matter of time okay i can banish his tiramisu but you know the the madolce deck does run to uh tiramisu in the extra deck so again it's just a matter of time yeah even with a potential torrential tribute he can just like i believe yeah indeed activate the second uh brilliant fusion cover instant fusion as well so <laughs> the ceiling of that deck is just too high anyway game number three um pot of greed uh the immediate plus one and then confiscation so again get free information about my opponent's hand and immediately no thinking about that get rid of the solemn judgment since again there is always a slight chance the opponent's going to attack into the shining angel into dd warrior lady again very very good um have the snatch deal since this snatch deal can um somewhat uh make it sure that yata it can potentially attack directly but this is this is we know at least this is something that we know thanks to confiscation him having the damage juggler and being forced to drop it again against uh, Yatagarasu, so he still has his draw phase. He goes for Castel, um, Dweller also could have been an option, but okay, both are fine, I guess. But now, again, as I talked about earlier, the Snatch Deal coming in clutch again, taking control of the Castel and Yata dealing the necessary damage. So now, yep, the opponent won't have a draw phase, and I believe we know that a card, that last card in his hand is the field spell, another field spell, I believe you opened double field spell, not really too great, and you need to drop another Yata, and this is indeed game. Yata lock, MVP. 
P. So again, okay, uh, Madolches are out of the tournament. They definitely did well, but Chaos move on to the um, yeah top uh, four, I believe. Indeed, top four on the left side of the brackets. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching and feel free to leave a comment or like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.